video, we're going to learn how to uh, measure liquids accurately and precisely using graduated cylinders. It's very important when you measure any type of liquid, you use a graduated cylinder like these. Um, you do not want to use a beaker or a flask because those aren't calibrated to uh, measure liquids accurately. So stay away from beakers and flasks. I know they have hash marks on them, but those aren't as accurate and precise as a graduated cylinder. Those are just general estimations. So if we look at our two graduated cylinders here, we have a large one and we have a small one. Each one is different. So it's always important to pay attention to what type of graduated cylinder you have. So the hashes for each one can be different. So if we look at the large one on the right, the larger hashes are one milliliter markings and the 0.5 milliliter markings are smaller hashes. So that's for a larger graduated cylinder. And if we look on the left, we have a different hash system. So the larger lines are one milliliter markings, but the smaller ones are now 0.2 milliliter markings. So when you take measurements, you want to take it to the 10th place. So for example, um, 8.5 milliliters would be a good reading rather than just 8 milliliters or 8.52 milliliters. So if we fill both of these graduated cylinders up, let's try to take an accurate measurement of the two uh, liquids. Okay, so if you look at the hand on the screen, now my little pointer, let's try to measure out uh, the volume on the smaller graduated cylinder. So if we look here, this line here is a seven milliliter mark. So if you remember, these little hashes are 0.2 milliliter marks. So this is seven, 7.2, 7.4, right? The meniscus looks like it falls underneath uh, the 7.4. So you could say an accurate reading would be 7.3 milliliters, okay? Now, if you said 7.4, that's not bad, okay? That's acceptable. So now let's look at the graduated cylinder on the right. Here we have 15 milliliters. And if you remember, these hashes, right, they're hidden here. Mm -hmm. Each one represents one milliliter. So if this is 15, this one is 16, there would be one that's here 17, 18, 19, 20, right? And if you remember, the ones in the middle are 0.5. So if this is 15, this is 15.5, then this would be 16. And from 16, this is 16.5, and up here would be 17. So it's very difficult to see a meniscus here, but it should fall somewhere within this range. So if this is 15, this is 16, and then 17's right here, you can probably say the meniscus is somewhere in here, right? It's a little difficult to see. You could kind of see a little bit over here. Now, you can say an accurate reading for this would be, if this is 16, this is 16.5, maybe somewhere around 16.8, because the meniscus is definitely under the 17 milliliter mark. So 16.8, 16.9 milliliters would be a good reading for the graduated cylinder on the right.